Modesto is 90 miles away from Modesto. This isn't like a different planet. In fact, uh, Ava, her sister, lives two miles away from Scott. So the fact that some information is going to filter back that might prompt you to get on the phone, you know, I, I don't think that's such an a unusual thing. You got a friend who's a cop? So, can you check this guy out? Is there anything I need to know? Uh, absolutely. And, and apparently in her prior relationships with other men and under, under cir, other circumstances, Amber felt she was burned on other occasions. So she's a little shy. So she's going to use whatever resources she might have. And she has a friend who's in law enforcement. And law enforcement officials tend to have a fraternity among themselves. And she simply asked him, hey, could you check this guy out for me? Something doesn't jive, perhaps. Or maybe him on his own, he feels that, you know, I, I'm a little uncomfortable about this, too. So I don't find that terribly uh, compelling. It just, it seems natural. It flows with her, with her insecurity, if you were, her gullibility, perhaps. But it doesn't, it doesn't damage her as a witness in any way, shape, or form. Yeah, we could talk about the, the number of phone calls, which I think are very interesting. But go, go ahead. I think it dovetails into the defense theory that yeah. the, the law enforcement zeroed in on Scott immediately. But what before they even else. went missing on the 21st. On the tw but, but you're right. The, the 21st, it started to have, they like, say, what is this guy? Is he married? But by the 24th, right. they started the momentum. I mean, the media was starting to surround Lacey's disappearance. Okay, right other than the, the quote, rush to judgment, though, that he that they didn't look at enough people. And of course, we know now all of the other things they did and the mines they searched and the waterways and the homeless people, all the rest of this. Yeah. Um, but so what? They didn't manufacture any of this evidence. There's nothing but a few crumbles of concrete that someone might say, someone even you know, alleging that they planted a single hair. And if you're going to plant some hair, let's, let's well, that's get a true. handful but here. But I think the defense <laughs> is trying to say, look, the police are conflating two things, okay? Here is this detective, Richard Byrd, who's looking out for his friend, Amber Fry, sure. suspicious about this nefarious boyfriend she has. It turns out he's married and he's lying about that. They're going after him from 12 21, three days before Lacey is reported missing. As soon as Lacey is missing, boom, Scott Peterson is the first suspect. Not just a rush to judgment, but he a motive, have been, but he a motive have been, by the though, police to protect Amber because she's tied in with law enforcement and they're all out to get Scott because they want to protect Amber. She's doing a good job there. She yeah. doesn't believe a word of it. <laughs> ben Harris, thank you very much. And don't forget for more on the Scott Peterson case, including photos of other ex lovers who have taken the stand in high profile cases, log on to courttv.com. We got much more on the other side. Interesting phone records. Don't go away. Tonight on an all-new Forensic Files, get a lesson in ground penetrating radar. There may be evidence down there. A dark secret. He knew that if she would tell someone, he would end up going to prison. A missing wife. Gone. Poof. And a groundbreaking technique in forensic anthropology. We dug out the sinkhole. It seemed to be endless. I was really hoping to find something. Shed light on a seriously cold case. This is our chance. Forensic Files premieres tonight at 9. It's all part of Forensic Week. Forensic Week. On Court TV. Pumps your blood. The aorta valves where the blood leaves the heart and it's channeled to the rest of the body. The arteries, arterioles, and capillaries too bring the oxygenated blood to the cells. Tissues in the cells trade off waste and CO2, which is carried through the venules and the veins, to the larger vena cava, to the atrium and the lungs, and we're back to where we started in the heart. St. Joseph, that little orange pill you remember, has the dose doctors recommend most for daily aspirin heart therapy. America's original for the heart. Why should you keep a few boxes of Jell-O Instant Pudding around the house? Because it's only five minutes to homemade. Because, do we really have to say anything? Jell-O Instant Pudding. And check out our new Oreo flavor. The Brita Pitcher filters out the things that shouldn't come with your water, like hundreds of plastic bottles and expensive filtration systems. And all you have to do is this. Brita. Just add water. What do you love about Ziploc? I can easily close a Ziploc container with one finger. I can't do that with this Gladware. No wonder Ziploc is the most preferred disposable container. Now that's a tight Ziploc seal. Ziploc, designed with you in mind. What do you love about Ziploc? Ziploc's got a snap and seal it. See, it's close. Gladware doesn't have a snap and seal it. See? Miss Steven! Ziploc, designed with you in mind. Hi, do you love to cook? Ever think about making a career of it? 
If the idea of cooking for fun and money sound appealing, then think about this. Training to be a head chef, a pastry chef, or a sous chef. Why don't you look into the culinary program at Pennsylvania Culinary Institute, where tomorrow's great chefs of the world are being trained. And one of those chefs could be you. For a brochure, call 800-695-1500. That's 695-1500. Call now. It feels great not to worry about paying my bills anymore, not to be anxious and scared. If you're a homeowner and you want to feel good again, if you want to put financial fear and anxiety behind you, call H&R Block Mortgage today for your free debt reduction analysis. If there's a way to cut your mortgage payment and significantly reduce your monthly bills, H&R Block Mortgage will find it. Feel good. Call 1-800-727-6115 today for your free debt reduction analysis. Continuing our discussion of the Scott Peterson murder case, I want to talk about cell phone records. This is something I was quite interested in. Who was he calling on the 23rd? Anybody? Who was he calling anyone in the evening hours? Was he on the internet? Uh, what, who did he call on the 24th? What about the 25th? What was his pattern that we could discern? So we have found some cell phone records. Unfortunately, these records show who E is calling from one of the cell phones. And I think there are, there's at least two, if not, if not more than two. But something I found quite interesting, on December 23rd, this guy calls his voicemail starting at 8.30 in the morning 17 times before 5.30 that afternoon. Now, this is the 23rd. So between 8.30 and 5.30, you've got nine hours and 17 times nine of these times before lunch he's wow. checking his voicemail i just think that's kind of interesting mm -hmm. i don't check my voicemail like that no i don't know many people that do i do i do oh you guys okay <laughs> you're, ruining, so you're ruining my it's story yeah, you're lawyers it's yeah you're right. you got clients we actually you're locked up in worry jail. about clients and stuff yeah, <laughs> yeah well I remember, I remember my ex-husband was a defense attorney and i was a prosecutor and the phone rang one night and i picked up the phone to some guy in jail and i said that's exactly where you belong <laughs> <laughs> michael's going no give me the phone Oh, sorry, I shouldn't tell those stories. Okay, we won't tell anyone. Uh, yeah, right. On the 24th, on the 24th of December, we have got uh, 13 checks of his voicemail. But interesting, this is the 24th. One, which is that 1008 phone yes. call we all know about, and not another check until he is home at at. Uh, all right, I, wait a minute, there's there the two in the street, but then no more until he gets home. So we've got all of those. He checked his voicemail when he was driving back right. at, at 212 and checked his voicemail right back to back, so he may, some, may have lost the connection. But here's a guy who, who's doing it so nine. So there's this big gap. There's, he's not. And Catherine, he's, he's got not this. checking. He's got this hour and a half trip, according to his story, up to go fishing, beginning at about 10 a.m., uh -huh. getting there at around noon. What do you do on a long, boring car ride if you're somebody who's always on the phone? You pick up the phone and you make phone calls and at a minimum if you're Scott Peterson compulsively checking messages you check your messages hey call Amber Fry mm -hmm. call your business associates it's Christmas he doesn't Eve make day. a single call but Lisa it's Christmas Eve day who's actually making phone yeah. calls that day Christmas people don't get on the phone that's when you call your friends that's when you call your family no I, I, you know well, I think I, you guys are over the, Eve day. first of all the cell if you're checking cell phones there's usually a little buzz if uh, you know that says you got a message or something like that or it buzzes to you so you would know if you got a message it's not uncommon that you would come back to work on Christmas and there's no messages on your machine or Christmas Eve. Most people know the telephone traffic on Christmas among businesses and stuff like that is a lot less. So that in and of itself I don't think points to anything incredibly suspicious. Well I want to know who, who's calling him then because we've got 832, 942, 1009, 1012, um, 1043, 1045 and these are that's all the morning of the 23rd and then is one, one at 10:08, and one at uh, at 2:12. But That's no one's right. coming. These are calling cell phones. In, though. These are incoming calls. Right. No, I mean, no, 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 I'm no, talking. No, no, I'm talking. Ten is way. Yeah, just no way checking his voicemail. This is him calling his voicemail, but you would get a message on your phone oh. saying there's a message. Isn't over it? and over and over. Well, maybe I mean, yes, I mean, maybe no. Uh, it's it's I mean, a good question. Phone? Just I'm just looking at patterns here, and most he talks to a lot of people on the phone. Can we go back to the th the three conversations between December 15 and the 24th, though? How Garagos could use that possibly to indicate that this guy's playing in. You the don't you don't like the avenue I'm pursuing. <laughs> All right, Gary, you can go back to. The I want to go to the murder. I, wanted, I, mean, I know you're calls. going to tell me between, you know, the, the three conversations between December 15th and December 24th. I think, you know, I, I just think Garagos is going to try to lay a foundation or something to argue to the jury that here's a 
a guy who's about to kill his wife and unborn child for this woman, and the most conversation he can must up within these seven days are three conversations. I think he's going to try to use that to a certain extent, and that's why he brought it out. Right, I think why, he's bringing why, things out that he Explain for me use. then why, before Amber is supposed to have known that Lacey went disappear, disappeared, we don't know what's going to happen with Officer Byrd, whether all of a sudden there's a revelation that she knew from the 24th on, that but she, but all of these phone calls pick up speed dramatically after Lacey goes missing, and it seems like they're on the phone ad nauseum. I think also, Catherine, that you have to realize that to a certain extent, and I'm not a psychiatrist, but this guy was considered a pariah. He was already a suspect day one. Who wants to talk to him? Who wants to be his friend? His mother-in-law is calling him, accusing him of crime. His parents are shaky. His brother-in-law. You have no one else to reach out to. Maybe that's one of the reasons. I'm not a psychiatrist. Yeah, they were steadfast so those, first, those, yeah. those first those first But also, days. after no, January 8th, she is so hostile to him, Gary. I don't think this is a reach out and talk to some friendly voice. She is blasting him for hours over and oh, over. Yeah. And surely I mean, his own parents were more friendly to talk to at least <laughs> at that point. So let's uh, yeah, I, I've Burgum. heard the tapes on this show, and clearly, I mean, if but that's the best friend he could find, Lisa. That's it. I mean, I mean, I mean the, is there anybody open? else he's talked to on this? I don't know. Garagos may introduce other friends it, he had conversations with, but it avenue, doesn't sound that way. Another avenue I think that Garagos is going to go down is the timing of when she went to the police. Because if she knew around the 21st, 22nd that already a bird may have come back and said, oh. you're married, she didn't come until the day after they posted that huge reward. For any information on Lacey's disappearance. Yeah, but she's never asked but, for the reward. But she I understand, never asked for understand but you know what? Garagos is definitely, I would go down that path. I mean, absolutely. maybe, maybe, absolutely. Oh, he, he I would definitely go down that path. I don't get the timing of it. I don't know the just because there's no book contract or television yeah. deal now doesn't mean you can't oh. even suggest well, the possibility. Well, that's right. That's right. Just wait till the trial's over and then and we'll then, have yeah, a whole right. different line of questioning. But the, She'll it, be here. Right now, Bird was supposed to have called her on the 28th and gave her a clue that the guy she was going out with is the guy, in fact, who people were beginning to look at. Imagine getting that call. But, mm. but why did they have all these? Why was he calling her all of this time unless he needed someone to talk to, even if he wasn't confessing? We're back with more on the Scott Peterson murder trial right after the break. Tonight, get a lesson in high tech crime solving with Forensics Week. First at nine on an all new Forensic Files. Ground penetrating radar. An innovative forensic technique sheds light on a cold case. At 9 30 on Forensic Files. PCR testing. A unique DNA test helps bring a rapist to justice. And at 10 on The Investigators. Clue. Interpretation. Detectives dive deep for answers to a murky mystery. Forensics Week, tonight from 9 to 11 on Court TV. You go for the great taste of French's mustard. French's classic yellow. It tastes that great. The method doctors use to remove warts at the office is now available at home. Dr. Scholl's Freeze Away Wart Remover. Just press and freeze. It safely works with as little as one treatment. See? That was easy. <laughs> to remove warts fast, see the doctor, Dr. Scholl's. I'm not touching you. He's touching me. He's touching. I'm not touching you. I'm not touching. touching you. Their choice of activities, dubious. Their choice of drinks, obvious. Because Sunny D has a taste they crave and a full day supply of vitamin C. Soda has no vitamins. You're touching me. Nothing can touch it. Sunny D, the good stuff kids go for. Bye, Mom. See you later, Mom. Ever wish your kids would do a little more? wish hubby would do a little more? Uh, how about Fido? Mm -hmm. Oh boy. Well, now there's something in your life that does a little more. Introducing Tide with a touch of Downy. What a great idea. You get the incredible clean of Tide. Plus a bonus, a touch of Downy for that little extra softness and freshness you'll love. Hey, you have to use laundry detergent. Now you can use a Tide that does more. Tide with a touch of Downy lets you put a little extra softness and a touch of that fresh Downy scent in each and every load you do. Visit this website now to get a coupon for $1 off Tide with a touch of Downy. You'll get the outstanding clean of Tide and a touch of Downy for added softness and freshness. Go to the website now. There's nothing new about wanting softer, smoother skin. 
What's new is how you do it. Introducing Olay In Shower Body Lotion. Unlike your ordinary body lotion, Olay moisturizers work with the warmth and humidity of your shower. After cleansing, smooth on, rinse off, like a conditioner, for a revolutionary look and feel. This is not your grandmother's body lotion. Look in the body wash aisle for new Olay Moisture Rinse and love the skin you're in. Back with more on the case against Scott Peterson. Uh, Bill Fazio, put on a defense hat for just a moment. And